the more important thing that we want to talk about in today's workshop workshop is steps that are involved in performing these aerodynamic simulations now th these are the steps that you need at the end of the day if you can do each of these steps correctly you can simulate uh, the aerodynamics and you can predict the aerodynamic quantities not just on your f1 car it could be a truck it could be a passenger car it could even be a building doesn't matter the concepts are always the same so the first step is to create something called as a virtual something called as the virtual wind tunnel right <clears throat> does anyone know what the virtual wind tunnel is can anyone guess what virtual wind tunnel means again guys if the if the workshop is in, not interactive i mean if you guys are not interactive then it's going to be very very boring so try to answer if you do not know the answer you can at least say no that way i get some feedback so that i can simplify the question what's a virtual wind tunnel can anyone answer okay so it looks like we have a few answers wind tunnel using cfd software yes that is the right answer when you take uh, experimental setups right how how do they determine the aerodynamic performance of your car what they do is they take your car and they put it inside this really large room and on one end of the room there is a fan that basically blows air at a particular condition this is what you call as a wind tunnel and what you can do is you can set up force sensors or pressure sensors on the car and you can basically estimate the amount of force that's acting on the car in other words the amount of force that's actually preventing the car from moving forward this force would be the drag force similarly if you if you throw a wing and the same pressure forces or the same pressure sensors can be used to determine the lift forces and also the down forces right so this is what you call as a wind tunnel and you might have all if you are if you are an undergraduate student you would have definitely had at least one lab where you basically did something with the wind tunnel correct a virtual wind tunnel is nothing but the same concept but done using a computer that's why the keyword virtual is there in front of it right so it doesn't matter which software you are using this is exactly the step you first create a virtual wind tunnel which at the end of the day is just a cuboid you create a huge box and inside this box you basically import your vehicle scad model now what are the components that you need to include what are some of the approximations that you include in the model that is a whole different thing but let us just say that we have our car here i'm just going to draw the circle which represents the car it could be the f1 car or it could be a passenger car and then you assign something called as the boundary conditions so what are those boundary conditions well you can say that what is the pressure at this particular face or you can basically say what's the velocity at this space doesn't matter or the mass flow rate and then at the outlet you basically specify the outflow pressure right the static pressure at the outflow and then basically what what the cfd solver is going to do is it's going to solve the cfd equations and when you solve cfd equations computational fluid dynamic equations you can get the velocity pressure and temperature at each and every point that you specify in your computational domain the points that you specify right that is what you call as your computational mesh all right this is something that you would create before you run the cfd simulation using a meshing software so wherever the mesh exists that is where you calculate the pressure and temperature pressure temperature velocity then you can take these pressure quantities <clears throat> and you can just integrate it on top of the body that you are simulating flow over and you will be able to calculate the lift coefficient or the drag coefficient that's basically it this right here is exactly the steps that you need to follow to perform aerodynamic simulations so then obviously the question is <clears throat> well this seems very simple then i should be able to do it very easily right well there are some challenges